In 2017, there was a large survey of over 5,000 participants in a Statistica study where they asked people what they thought was causing their back pain. They didn't ask their doctors and they didn't look at their MRIs. And the most popular answer was stress. Most people, when asked their opinion, thought stress more than anything else was causing their back pain. And guess what? They were right. I had three surgeons tell me I needed surgery, but thank God I didn't listen to them. The cause of my back pain was definitely stress. And today we're going to go over the fastest way to cure stress-based chronic back pain. And it's one that even most Sarno followers don't know about. So that's what we're going to talk about today, and let's dive right in. Hi folks, I'm John Thornton, and if you have TMS, you don't have to spend years trying to cure it. That's not necessary. You can cure yourself much, much quicker with what I'm about to tell you. But first, I want to give you a resource we've created. It's our free guide for curing any TMS condition. And if you follow the guidelines, you could see symptoms improve in as little as 30 days. So download the free guide at paincureclinic.us, and there is a link below. Okay, so the biggest mistake most people make once they find Sarno is a total reliance on processing negative emotions to cure their back pain. And that's not how it works. That will not usually lead to a permanent cure. It's like trying to lose 10 pounds by dieting alone. All the experts will tell you that the best formula is both diet and exercise. And TMS is similar, except you need three components in total. So keep doing the mental work, but add on these two action items for the fastest recovery. During the first few months, especially the first 30 days, when it's typical to see little or no progress, it's important to bolster your belief in TMS constantly because your mind will play tricks on you every time. So it's important to reinforce your belief every day for those first 90 days. My personal favorite reinforcing tool is clinical studies. Studies like this one. In 2011, there was a study in the New England Journal of Medicine where they recruited over 200 asymptomatic patients for a back study. Now, asymptomatic patients means none of these people had back pain whatsoever. So they did an MRI in each patient's spine, and here's what they found. 70% of the patients had some type of disc abnormality. 52% had bulging discs. 27% had herniated discs and 65% had degenerative discs. And these were people who had never had back pain. So look at information like the New England study that supports a TMS diagnosis every single day during that first 90 day period. That reprogramming process will bring your subconscious mind closer and closer to 100% belief in the mind-body connection that is so important to the healing process. Now at the same time, start weaning yourself off of all things medical that are not necessary if you have TMS. For example, I stopped the chiropractor after 45 days, I lowered my standing desk after 60 days, and then finally I stopped painkillers after about 90 days, which was the hardest part. So I was not spending my whole time thinking about childhood trauma and repressed anger. That just didn't feel right to me. Instead, I was actually doing things that I could quantify to make real progress. And I could actually feel the progress, which was the best part. So let's first go back to what exactly causes chronic back pain. Yes, the fight or flight response is caused by stress and anxiety and repressed anger. That's true. But here's the key point that most people miss out on. The fight or flight response tightens the muscle tissue to get the body ready to either fight or flee a dangerous event. So is the origin of your back pain childhood trauma? Maybe so, but the end result is tight and inflamed muscle tissue. That's what's actually causing your back pain right now. And to me, that's a much simpler problem to solve. So the quickest way to heal back pain is through muscle pliability stretching, yoga, foam rolling the muscle tissue until it's soft and pliable again. 
That's how you release the pain in a very reliable way. You know, Tom Brady, the greatest of all time, the oldest player in the NFL by five years, credits muscle pliability for his ability to bounce back after pain and injury. And the only book he's ever written, TB12, is only about one thing, and that's muscle pliability. It can be a real game changer. So yes, do the mental work that you're already doing because that's always important when it comes to TMS, that's for sure. But also work on reprogramming your belief and untightening your muscles at the same time. Take simple action steps in each of the three categories each week for 90 days and then you're done for good. Okay, that's the fastest way to cure chronic back pain. And that's what we do here at the Pain Cure Clinic. So check out our website for more information at paincureclinic.us. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. And thanks for watching.